Welcome to an ex-Binger's Christmas where I show you how I navigate the holidays eating delicious charcuterie boards and Christmas meals without overstuffing and going back to my binge eating tendencies. If you like videos like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button and leave me a comment. Hello, it's a Christmas vlog today. I haven't been on this channel in forever. I have all these vlogs that I filmed. I did a Halloween vlog, I did a Thanksgiving vlog. We went to Disney for Halloween, forgot to post it because I didn't feel like editing it, so I guess I didn't forget, but I forgot. Anyway, we're gonna skip right to Christmas because it's almost Christmas and we're gonna see if I post this before Christmas. And it's a whole Christmas day because I am spending my Christmas away from my boyfriend this year to go to Texas to visit my new nephew and my nieces and my other nephew and my sister and my sister-in-laws and everything. So I'm having a very big Christmas over there, but we wanted to have a Christmas together. So welcome to our Christmas day with all our festivities. First thing, the most important thing for today is that I wanted to recreate this picture with my maid man who's at the door right now. I just took you out. Anybody else have other dogs that think they can just go outside every single second? And I have tiny dogs, so uh, the hawks be waiting, the owls be waiting, the coyotes are probably on the other side of our wall. He has a really big butt. But So adorable. He's the only one that cooperates. Then it was Garrett's turn with butters, but I had other plans, TikTok plans. Have you seen that guy that many women are going crazy over on TikTok and all he's doing is solving a Rubik's Cube with some swagger? I'm vanilla baby. I'll choke you, but I ain't no killer, baby. Yeah, apparently if you hand a Rubik's Cube to like a white guy, he'll seduce you while solving it. So I decided to test it out. All right, ready? Go. What am I doing with this? It's a thing on TikTok. While singing that song. I don't sing songs, I just do the Rubik's Cube. I'm vanilla baby. <laughs> oh, why am I doing this? <laughs> why did you get a Rubik's Cube? <laughs> So we definitely forgot to take Ruby's picture because he was cuddled up on his heating pad, but he came out after we were done. So we just gave him a Rubik's Cube. I'm vanilla, baby. I'll choke. Okay, before we eat the fruitcake though, I'm just gonna chug some water and that's something a lot of people need to remember is that if you're gonna have like a charcuterie board with high calorie treats, drink water beforehand because you might also be dehydrated at the time. And that means you're gonna do some damage. Like you're gonna try to fill up on cheese and crackers and fruitcake if you like it. it. Smells fruity, not in a homosexual way. Actually, no, yeah, totally in a homosexual. I don't know. Okay, this is 160 calories for a 1.5 ounce. <laughs> also, guys, these are from Walmart and they were uh, $9? Holy shit, it is like, oh, that's about the calories. That's, a, that's 40 grams. We'd only need three more. Here, let's do that. 41, 42, and... Well, now we're over 46. So this is over 160 calories. Look, I'll put it in my palm. Y'all, I ate half of those big ones. I put down some calories. This, this is 160 calories right here. And 18 grams of sugar. The recommended serving size is I think 20 or 25 grams of sugar per day. Now for the moment you've all been waiting for. 
But first, okay, let me tell you the backstory about fruitcake. So I never had fruitcake before. We never had it growing up. It wasn't a thing. I only knew fruitcake from really just maybe probably shows. Yo, Eileen, get that fruitcake out of here. But definitely from The Sims because they always, you know, like neighbors bring you the fruitcake. And one day when we moved to California, someone around Christmas time, one of our neighbors, brought over fruit cake. Well, this was when I was competing. And remember when I was competing, that was the height of my binge eating. I had a competition a week before Christmas and I was like, I'm gonna be so good. I'm not gonna eat a lot of food until Christmas. Like I don't need a cheat meal. I'm just, I'm, a, I'm oh God, it's like killing me on the inside. I'm, I'm a fit girl now. I don't need to have food after my competition. So I kind of just kept doing the same thing, but slowly adding calories back. Like I see all like the top IFBB pro girls do because I was gonna be an IFBB pro and put Michelle McDaniel IFBB pro on Instagram. So people can know I'm a pro athlete that pretty much paid thousands of dollars for a plastic trophy. Anyone else who does it though, like that's, I'm not talking bad about you, I'm talking about why I did it, okay, calm down. Anyways, so after my competition, I was like, I don't need to, you know, go get that, those two burgers I usually eat and all the other stuff I would do. I'm just gonna keep doing my thing. Grilled chicken, toasted potatoes, carrots, you know, lower in carbs, whatever, et cetera, et cetera. Come Christmas day, before that, I was like, well, normally I starve myself all day, but I just got done with competition for 16 weeks. I'm gonna give myself all of Christmas. I'm just gonna like wake up and just be a normal person and just slowly eat some, you know, treats and hang out with my family. Honey, boom, 6 a.m. I go downstairs, I see my mom, you know, the smells, everything. She's working on the food. She's making the cheesecake, my arch nemesis. She makes cheesecake, she makes lemon pie, which my eyes were on and she said, I can't eat it yet. And I was upset and starving. So then she says, well, so-and-so brought over a fruit cake and I go, a fruit cake? You mean that stuff I see in The Sims? I took one tiny slice and then what took one tiny Squidward bite. And once that sugar hit my tongue, honey, I ate half of that fucking fruit cake. So I'm curious to know, do I, did I only like the fruit cake because I was coming off of my non-sugar, low carb, high protein, bland diet, or was it actually good? I mean, I could definitely eat this whole thing, but it's not that great. It's just sugary. And I like the texture, because I like goopy things. I like nuts. So that was interesting in a good way. I can definitely see how I ate the whole, or half of the big thing, but I haven't had any sugar. This would have slapped. So anyways, do you guys like fruitcake? For the rest of the night, Garrett attempted to solve the Rubik's Cube without singing. I only ate five crackers and an ounce of cheese and almost all the berries. Only that one bite of fruitcake that you saw, but Garrett went ham on the cheese and crackers and meat. We watched classic movies. The kid was literally like, hey dad, wait, and the family just keeps sprinting away. So we noticed that we don't really like eating out anymore unless we're at Disney. I noticed I just really enjoy a nice steak or a salmon. So once a week we get a ribeye and have roasted potatoes and a salad with it. And the steak is big, so I usually just eat half and have the rest for breakfast. Steak and eggs, baby. And you cannot have Christmas night without cookies but I don't give mine to Santa. So crumble is high in calories, y'all. And I used to get a whole box, but now we just get two so I can have two flavors, cut them in fourths, and I have a fourth of each flavor one night, and then I finish it up the next night. Hello, if you're wondering why I'm in a different outfit, it's because it's in a different day. Anyway, Christmas day two. So we did gifts today, and the gifts that my boyfriend got me is pretty interesting, and I thought I would just tell you about it because I should have filmed it, but I don't wanna turn into the, one of those people that film everything, because then it just feels like your life is some weird reality show, and I don't wanna be in a reality show, I just like to live my life. So I thought I would just tell you about it. So as you know, I've been obsessed with these dolls from the first time that you've seen in my main channel videos that I use the dolls for just little skits that I wanna do. I've just been really into it and at the moment that I touched the Barbie, something just woke up into me and I just turned into a little nine-year-old Michelle and I was like, oh my God, this is fun. All of my just ideas just start bursting. I get this like burst of creativeness in my head and I'm just going with it. And so I've just been really into dolls. I was super into dolls when I was little and I think they got ripped away from me when I wasn't ready. And now that they're back, they're here to stay. It's the, this is Miss Pearly things. If 
if you saw that skit on the main channel. Doesn't she look like her? Dowdy clothes, hair a mess, makeup not done, telling women that they're threes and twos. Anyway, so it's my new thing. I like using it for the skit because not all the time I want to dress up and play every single character. Butters needs to go outside, doesn't he? Get over here. You do you really need to go outside right now? I really, really enjoy it. And one day I'm just scrolling through dolls that I want to buy because I discovered Monster High dolls. And so I was looking for, you know, just Monster High dolls and I come across a Pittywise Monster High doll for $1,200, I think. $1,200 or $1,500. I don't know, way too much for a doll, right? Like I'm not gonna spend that type of money. Or am I? No, just kidding. I'm not. And so I was like, what the heck? People spend this amount of money on a freaking Monster High doll? I would absolutely know. I don't even care how rich I am. I am not paying that money for anything, especially a doll. So then I started digging even more and there's something called doll customization. And I find this chick that made her own Pennywise doll because she was broker than a joker and she can't buy a $1,200 freaking doll. So she was like, I'm gonna make my own. And she did and it looked better than the one that Monster High created. So I saw all of the steps that she did and I'm like, there's no way that I can do this right now. This is obviously a new thing. I don't know if I wanna do all of that. And, and then I fail and then I lose interest in it. So I was like, let me just start with something basic. So if you remember from one of the videos where we talked about, you know, the girl that says she only ate grapes and I didn't have my microphone. So I sang into a blank canvas of a Monster High doll. Well, she now has less than 10% of her hair in, which took me two hours because I did it during Shazam. But she also has a face and it's not perfect, but it was really cool to do it. But before I got the face on, I ended up trying to draw with these original, or not uh, colored pencils that I got and the face just was not taking. None of the colors was getting on and Garrett comes out of the room and I'm like, the colors aren't working. I'm gonna go buy colored pencils. I'm gonna go right now. And I start walking up the stairs. He's like, maybe you should just start working on the hair. And I'm like, no, nah, I'm just gonna go do it right now. And I like spread up the stairs. <laughs> And I hear Garrett go, ah, why do you ruin every single Christmas present? <laughs> because I'm so nosy. Yoshi, no, come back. No. It's attacking the Christmas present and then she'll eat them. Anyway, so it ends up that he got me like the best colored pencils for my doll and it actually showed up and it looks really great. So anyway, that was part of my gift. And then this for weeks on end, maybe, I don't know how long it's been. Has it been weeks? Yeah, it's been a couple weeks and I just noticed Garrett was on his phone a lot. And I'm always like, why are you on your phone? Because he's not a phone guy. He doesn't like to be on his phone very much. And uh, so that was different. And then, oh, I still, you know what? I remember when I was like, give me your phone real quick. Cause I like to, I do my calculations for like my calories and everything. And he's like, why? And I'm like, what do you mean why? I'm allowed to have your phone. Just like you can have my phone, fool. <laughs> Garrett's just laughing in the corner. <laughs> anyway, he was just being possessive over his phone. And um, then, I noticed just when I was up late at night, cause I'm not a up later, up later stayer, upper night nighter person. I go to sleep around 10 and uh, around, I've been staying up late this week and he's been saying like, aren't you tired? Don't you want to go to sleep? <laughs> and so I'm like, nope, just want to work some more. <laughs> and then uh, this morning he was like, I'm just going to give you your gift. I'm like, ooh, really? Because every year I kind of ruin I'm just a nosy person and it's hard to surprise me, one. And two, I buy pretty much whatever I want. Like if I see something that I want, I'm going to eventually buy it myself anyway. So I'm a little hard to shop for. And I think that's why some of those alpha males on, on, um, on my main channel that we talk about, they'd rather just date a chick that has no money because then whatever you get her, she's gonna be like, oh my God, I could never get that. Yoshi, do not eat the Monster High doll head. Oh my God, I swear this chick. Anyway, so that's why they're always like, date a younger girl that has uh, no money and 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 gets impressed by like a Starbucks gift card. You know, like they just super get super excited. Uh, so I'm a little hard to shop for, but every single year, even though I almost ruin and sometimes do ruin my, my Christmas gifts, I always get super excited and I'm always just like blown away because Garrett puts a lot <coughs> Garrett puts a lot of thought into it and he still surprises me every single year. And this year was absolutely no different. So he's like, I'm just gonna give you your gift this morning. Like I, we, I can't do it any longer. I'd probably figure it out. And so he has me sit right here and he makes me close my eyes. And he's like, I close your eyes, don't freaking move. And then I open my eyes and I see this. So clearly it's not done yet, but he literally drew all the things 
on this head exactly the way that I would want it. When I tell you I screamed, I screamed. I was not expecting that at all. And obviously it's not done, but because he's been staying up, he's been trying to wait until I go to sleep so that he could work on, you know, like the body, the head, the painting, like, and he was like, I can't go on any longer because I wanted to get the hair done and you just keep staying up late and won't go to sleep. Right, Garrett? Yes. <laughs> so that's why he was like, can you go to bed when I was staying up late? And that's what he was doing all of the research that I wouldn't do. I would just try to figure it out myself that you needed to do when making all the dolls, trying to get all the correct tools, the right, the right pin for the head, the, the everythings that I, there are some things that he showed me and now he thinks he just knows everything about doll customization uh, because he did all the research. So he probably does know more than I do. <laughs> right, Karen? Yeah, I, do know more than <laughs> I put more soul into it. <laughs> Anyway, it was super sweet. Did I leave out anything? You were, Garrett, when, when he showed me it, he was telling me all these things. Like, I was doing, th oh yeah, he had to find the right doll because I was going to get, event get try to do it myself when I saw that girl's tutorial. And, okay, Yoshi, what's going on? What's happening? So I was gonna make my own. I didn't understand where these women were getting the body of the doll. Like how, where, I didn't know where they were finding the white skin, like, white doll. I couldn't find it anywhere. Well, it's a generation one Monster High doll. I didn't know there was different generations and they don't make, right? They don't make her anymore? I don't think they do. Oh yeah. So she, it, there was only like three. Spectra is the name and there's only three he found on, on eBay or Etsy. So yeah, I, my plan, I was going, I was just gonna go get any Monster High doll and dip it in paint and think that was gonna work. <laughs> Garrett's saying it wouldn't have worked. But you know, trial and error. Butters what? You need to, did he go? He already went out, right? Butters, stop going to the door. Stop it, get over here, come here. No, come. Come here. So I was just gonna do my own thing and figure it out. I probably have a lot, of, a lot of failures as you go because I just, sometimes just don't feel like reading. I just get really into it and think I can figure it out. And it takes me about 25 times. Am I forgetting anything else that you were telling me? I mean, Spectra, I think, well, that's the one all the people were using online. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. Anyway, so Garrett was telling, like, my friends and his friends and his family and everything that Michelle's really into dolls now, and she likes this customized Pennywise doll, and so I'm just gonna make it for her. And every single person, they said, Are you sure you can do that? Right, is that what they said? Uh, something like that. Yeah, like, are they were like, like, are you able to do this? You guys, he did such a good job, right? This is a really good, like we're gonna, now we can do it to, oh, you guys can't even see it. Like now we're gonna do it together. Like tonight we're gonna watch Christmas movies and put the hair on and maybe add some more shading, but now we can do it together. And he it, he did such a great job on the face. And when you add the hair, it looks so cool. I can't wait for this to be on my spooky bookshelf for my main videos and She's gonna be like a main character in one of my weird little doll scenes. I cannot wait. Like when I was editing today, I just had her head on my computer and she's just staring at me. I love it. Anywho, that's the story of the gifts that my boyfriend got me and oh, well, kind of made in itself. Like that's cool. I like sentimental type gifts like this. And this is like a lot of work to just put into the head. And I can't wait to see after he, cause I think you said you want to do the hair, right Garrett? Yeah, my plan was to do the hair, but I realized I wouldn't have enough time before Christmas. Kind yeah, he was trying to finish the whole thing, but I mean, I'm so nosy. I feel like I would have found it eventually. No, I just wouldn't have time. Oh, you didn't think I was gonna find it? You were going to bed so late every day, I wouldn't have <laughs> enough hours before Christmas to get the hair done. That's true, because I'm leaving soon to go to Texas. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I feel like I would have found it. Anywho, I hope you guys hope, yeah. Anywho, I hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year if I don't see you on this channel, but I will see you on my main channel because I upload a lot. Let me know what you guys wish for for Christmas or what did you get your loved one? Was it interesting? Let me know. What did you guys get? I want to hear about everything. Thank you so much for coming to this vlog and I will see all of you guys on my main channel probably. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in the one horse open sleigh.